Hi everyone, I'm going to present paper Visual Long-Term Memory Has Massive Storage Capacity for Object Details by Bradley and his colleagues. To give background for conducting this research, the common assumptions in memory research have always been that human memory lacks in detail and is fallible or imprecise in the past. Previous study has demonstrated that the details of visual memories can easily be interfered with by suggestion from experimenter, which raises concern for eyewitness testimony. Landmark studies in 1970 had indicated people are 83% accurate when determining which two of the images they had seen before after viewing 10,000 scenes. However, this type of large-scale memory test was not systematically examined and weren't able to provide decisive information such as separating remembering only the gist or, or which category was the image rather than an image in detail. This experiment aims to es uh, estimate the information capacity of visual long-term memory by setting up a system which pushes for both quantity and fidelity of the information that needs to be stored. Participants examined 2,500 objects for five and a half hours. After break, they were shown pairs of images and performed a two alternative fourth choice task by crossing the image on computer of which item they had seen before. The alternative choices to the old item are divided into three categories, novel, exemplar, and state. Novel condition has a com completely different category of item to the old item. Exemplar condition has physically similar new item paired to the old item. Lastly, the state condition has the new item to be the exact object, but appeared in a different state or orientation, as shown in the picture. The participants did not know which out of the 2,500 objects will be tested later. In order to perform well in both exemplar and the state condition, it is necessary for the participants to encode many specific details for each object to the long-term memory. To maintain attention during the test, repeats of the images seen before was introduced. When already seen image appeared, participants can press space bar on the keyboard to indicate that they have seen it before and will be prompted with green light for right answers and red light for wrong answers. The experiment was broken up to 10 sessions, with each session consisting of studying the image and fourth choice test. During the study session, each image was presented for three seconds, followed by 800 milliseconds of a fixation cross. Fourth choice test happens 10 minutes after the study session. The participants are allowed to proceed at their own pace and were told to emphasize accuracy rather than speed. The 300 test trials for each participant were randomized for the type of trials, whether it's novel, exemplar, or state. Results. It is expected that accuracy for state condition is lowest amongst the three since it requires most knowledge about the specific details of objects. Surprisingly, performance in all these conditions was remarkably high for the fourth choice test. 93%, 88%, and 87% of accuracy respectively. Although high result was expected for novel conditions, results for exemplar and state conditions appeared a lot closer to novel than expected. However, reaction time data shows the state condition to be the slowest, which is consistent with exemplar and state condition requiring more details. Participants were also explicitly aware of which image they had seen before, as they self-reported confidence in their performance in the survey. The repeated image test in the study session was shown to be accurate for approximately 80% of the time and showed high correlation to the performance in the fourth choice. 
He also indicates high capacity memory arises not only in false choice test, but also repeat recognition test. The results indicate indicates that humans have massive capacity memory system in both the quantity and fidelity of the visual information. Discussion. Memory capacity cannot be solely characterized by the number of items it can store. Rather than thinking of one item per slot, information remembered per item is much higher than previously believed. Familiarity versus recollection. Long-term memory frequently is distinguished to one, familiarity, the sense that you have seen something before, and two, recollection, the specific knowledge of where you have seen it. Controversy re remains in which decision is made for the false choice judgment, whether it taps into fam familiarity or when it is due to re uh, recollection. Implications. Functional MRI has indicated that mid-level visual area, the right fusiform gyrus, responds more when encoding objects for which they will, re uh, they will later remember the specific exemplar compared to only the gist. Understanding the neural activity behind the detailed storage of visual information is the right direction for future research and will further inform the study of visual object recognition and categorization. Establishing the bonds. This research has established bonds on the information capacity of human memory by providing a systematic control study in the visual long-term memory storage capacity at an exemplar and state level that is not exhausted by a set of 2,500 detailed objects. This research has established the lower bound and showed that visual long-term memory can contain not only the gist, but a more detailed representation of um, which is able to discriminate between exemplars and states. For further research, uh, one should try to format the coding process and show the upper bound or limits of visual long-term memory. Thank you for watching.